The four main parts of the refrigeration cycle are the compressor, the condenser, the metering device, and the indoor evaporator coil. At the refrigerant compressor, you have low pressure vapor entering and high pressure vapor exiting. And so inside the compressor, the scroll plates reduce the area in order to increase the pressure of the vapor refrigerant. The high pressure vapor exits the compressor and enters into the outdoor coil. As the refrigerant travels through the coil, it rejects heat to the outdoor air. This starts the phase change where you have liquid and vapor both present at the same time. In this case, it's 110 degrees as the phase change is occurring from vapor to liquid. Once it's fully liquid, it lowers in temperature. So now we have a high pressure, high temperature, subcooled liquid traveling to the indoor metering device, where then the piston or the TXV lowers the pressure of the liquid refrigerant and changes it to a low pressure, low temperature, liquid and vapor mix. So the refrigerant is now saturated at a lower temperature. In this case, it's about 40 degrees. As the refrigerant absorbs heat from the air crossing the coil, the refrigerant's temperature remains the same and it's changing to a fully vapor state. Once it's at a fully vapor state, it starts to increase in temperature and the vapor exits the coil and re-enters the compressor. 